Hello, my friends, it's Cree Rama, and thank you for stopping by today to Create with Cree. So today we are going to be having some more messy fun playing around with Tim Holtz, different mediums, and I am going to show how I made these two journal covers. Aren't they so cute? So I've got this one, and then I've also got this one. And I did put together some signatures for inside. They're not put into the book yet. And then also we're going to grunge up some more photos so that I can use for ephemera pieces inside my book. Look how yummy and grungy these are. Aren't they fabulous? So this is what we're gonna be working on today. This is part one and part two, I will be finishing up some final touches, binding my books, and then we will do a flip through. So let's get started. So I've got a bunch of my dyed papers here for the signatures, four signatures. As you can see, I've got purple, I've got some of my linen paper, green and orange. And then on the insides, there's some fun art house whimsy prints that I turned into pockets. So I got these ready and just did some messy sewing around them. And I believe I got two of these in the mail from Boho Crafty Chica. And it is a, if you can hear it, it's a metal plate. So I wanted to try to play around with this and grunge it up and maybe use it for my cover. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna take my anchor thing off and I've got a sander and we're just gonna go around the edges of this and grunge it up a bit. Okay, so wipe that off. Now I wanna go over this with some of my translucent crackle paste. So I'm gonna use my messy mat here. Let's make sure this is nice and wiped off. So this is the translucent. And I am going to I'm gonna kind of start at the edge here and then kind of just spread it. Alrighty, we're just gonna leave it like this and come back and revisit it and see what it's like after it dries. Now I'm wondering like right here, I might want to, let's see, might wanna spread that out a little bit more. Okay, let this dry. Okay, my friends, so I'm gonna hold it up here. So hopefully you can kind of get a good look at it. So the cracks are there. Um, they're very faint. So what I wanna try to do is put some ink on here and then spray it and let that ink go down into the cracks. And let's see what that does. And this is probably the time when I should put on some gloves, but they're not right here at my desk. <laughs> so I'm not going to. Let me see here. I'm gonna take 
some of this, some of this. Let's see here. All right, I had to make sure it was spraying out. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little drop here, like kind of spread it now. Let me just spray a little bit. Let's get that to run. Maybe use a tool and smear it around a bit. It is kind of going into the cracks. Let's get this to run a little more. Just kind of moving it around, trying to work it into those areas where the cracks are. Do we like it like this? It didn't really do all that much. Maybe I need to put more on. I'm gonna try to get a little more right here. I don't think I have a lot of walnut stain and that is my favorite, so I'm gonna use gathered twigs. It's not exactly as I expected, but that's okay because sometimes it still turns out. Okay, so now, there we go. Let me spread this and then I will hold it up so you can see, but this is looking a little bit better for whatever reason. I think maybe I need to let it dry and then wipe off, possibly. Now, since the crackle paste is already dry, I'm gonna get my gun, my heat gun out. Okay, this is much better, guys sure it's not too hot so let me hold this up here so now I can see the ink down in the cracks I'm happy with this now get rid of my inky stuff so I will show you I just started a little bit of decorating my pages I don't want to go crazy with this I want to usually you know I go crazy decorating pages and I really want this to be a have a lot of writing space and just space that whoever has it can add stuff to it. So I just added a few pockets. Here's a pocket. And then all the purple pages will be a signature. I might do some stamping or something. And then I can put one of my tags here. I love this one. <laughs> And then here, and then the rest. Okay, and then we've got this one. The pockets also on the inside. And I have this one with one of my paper dolls that I did. I just love the orange. And I had a couple of eco prints that were torn and I just went and did some messy sewing. So it looks kind of cool. It looks like Frankenstein type stuff, like it's all stitched together. 
Then this is another pocket thing. So these will be my center signatures and I just loved this printout. They're from Art House Whimsy, of course. And then we've got the green. I haven't done anything yet. Oh, we've got a pocket here that I added my dyed papers and then we've got this one so that's all I have done so far here found this really cool spider that I got from Mary not Martha and I will put the link she's got all kinds of really cool things in her shop it's mostly uh, fabric and lace and a whole bunch of appliques and things. I was going to do like a cobweb thing and then put this on. I'm deciding if I want to do it black also. Maybe I just stencil on top of this and see what it looks like. This just isn't the same though. I feel like it's got to be black. Well, first of all, let's take out the pages here. And unfortunately, these pages are extremely brittle, so I really can't use them for anything unless I wanted to collage with them. Okay, so very carefully go down there so I don't cut into the spine. Which was easy since it was already coming apart. Okay, there's some like hard glue here. I just want to get that up. And now I've got my, this is linen tape book guard. So this is for book repair. Just add some on the spine here. I'm going to do some black gesso on this. Use one of my sanders and let's just grunge this up a little bit. I wanted to show this entire process, so I'm just going to speed it up a little bit and reduce the volume so you're not hearing that scraping noise. I really like the way that this looked all worn and, and old and tattered, grunged up, so I really like this technique of the, just the simple, a thin layer of black gesso. I dried it really well and then just sanding it, and I'm kind of going in different directions as you can see to see but I'll put it on the white so you can see I've got this spider web fabric I'm thinking I should cover the whole thing So I'm using a spray adhesive. This is Gorilla Glue and it's a brand new bottle. So it was coming out a little foamy, but then it starts coming out the right way. So this stuff works really well if you have something thin that you just want to 
uh, you know, put down and you don't want to mess with all the glue and stuff that's going to ooze through the lace or the fabric. So I did the one side, I just flipped it over. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side and I'm using a piece of parchment paper just to kind of press it down to get it to stick. I'm gonna cut off this excess and I'll save this. This will be really good to use for tag toppers or just to kind of put behind something to layer up on a page. So I'm gonna kind of go fast through this uh, process here because I'm just using texture paste. I did this in my previous video. I wanna use a really thin layer. So I'm just making sure I scrape it down really well because I don't want my texture paste to be too thick. And then I'm gonna put embossing glaze on top of it. And I was afraid to lift up my stencil because I didn't want the glaze to stick everywhere. I just wanted it to be on those raised portions. So I left my, st my stencil on and now I'll get off that excess and I can pull up my stencil. And I'm just brushing off a little bit in areas where I don't want the powder to be. Now this process, it definitely takes longer than usual and I'm slowing it down here so you can kind of see where it starts to melt and it gets a plastic, you know, look kind of shiny. So this is going to be my cover. I also wanted to make some more photos using the translucent crackle paste. These are photos that I did last year and I slowed it down so you can kind of see the details there. So I'm doing this exactly the same way that I did the metal plate for the cover. I'm just going to sand around those edges and then apply some of the crackle paste, the translucent. Now, one thing that I did realize last year, but I kind of forgot until I was doing it again, but it is better if you put this on, I don't want to say thick, but it is slightly thick. Uh, if you spread it too thin, it's really, really hard to see the crackles unless you want it to be super fine looking crackles. So this is what it looks like after I spread it all around. And I'm gonna do one more here, and then I wanted to show you some other ones that are like halfway dry, so you can see kind of what it starts to look like. So I slowed this down again, and you kind of have to look closely because there's no ink in this to make those cracks pop, but you can kind of see around the edges where the cracks are starting to show and then you can see some of the parts where it's not dry yet. So I just wanted to kind of share that. Okay guys, we're dry here and I wanted to kind of do a little check-in. Now I will say also, these are Tim Holtz photos. If you know that thickness of his paper dolls, uh, that is what I would recommend for this. If you use a printout, um, I would definitely back it with some heavy cardstock because they do curl up. You have to keep kind of uncurling them. Let me hold this up so you can see. So you get the idea of what it looks like. This is another one from his photo booth that I did last year. So let me put these aside because these are done. And then also I just wanted to show you what I have for my covers so far. So this is my spider and then I was going to put a 
sentiment here. You can hear my doggies barking. So this is one cover. I have this one that I did with the metal plate and the crackle paste on that. So I've got these two, I've got my signatures. We will do this in part two. I'm gonna put the signatures in and we'll just finish up with some final details here. But for now, I just wanted to do a couple of these.
Okay, so here's one I didn't put ink. I only put the spray on. So you can see that crackle with the mica. And this is one that I added the ink. So you can see the grungy level, level of grunginess. Okay guys, so I am going to stop here for this one. And when we come back, I am going to do my signatures and then we will do a flip through of these goodies. So thank you as always for joining me today and stay tuned for part two.